there are thousands like me under apartheid South Africa who never allowed the door to be shut in our face. We always looked for opportunities. When I qualified, I, I, I found that I had uh, treble discrimination against me. One was as a, a black person. Um, white firms would not hire me. They said, we can't have a white secretary taking instructions from a black person. And some lawyers uh, said, well, we can't take on a woman. What if you fall pregnant? And that's why I started my own law practice. I had no choice. I kind of slept reasonably over five years. And now the, these conflicts that are raging in about 12 or 13 states uh, with loss of civilian lives, injuries, and and recruitment of uh, children, these really do keep me awake at night. The relentless violence in the Syrian Arab Republic is a tragedy for the Syrian people and a tragic failure for the cause of human rights. I would say that not a single state can claim to have a perfect human rights record. There are issues of concern in every country in the world. I would say that national governments have supported the uh, mandate of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. And security is for girls. There may be a, a few cases of what one can say are obstructions, and that is if they do not um, allow me into their countries or they don't allow the commissions of inquiry that we service into their countries. Um, it's important that they do. F when we find facts on the ground, we bring it to the attention of a government. What we're really doing is alerting them to causes and concerns that may lead to conflict. We're urging them to address them beforehand. Migrants are not development commodities or security challenges. Rather, they are human beings with fundamental human rights. I uh, am very proud that we've addressed all issues, all rights of all persons. We've addressed uh, discrimination on, on, on all grounds, various grounds that had not been addressed before, such as um, minorities, migrants, uh, LGBT people. My office then also addressed both civil and political rights. These are the fundamental freedoms of speech and assembly, the right to protest, the right to be free from torture or disappearances. Our messages are now being picked up by millions of people all over the world, particularly on social media. Some of it may just be sound bites, but people are understanding what their rights are now. People who are protesting or occupying streets uh, and, and, and protests across the cities are now looking for information on their rights so that they could articulate them and get their governments or private institutions such as banks to be more accountable. People want a say in the decision-making of policies that affect them.